are my lovelies. So right now it is going on midnight where I live. And well, this is Eli. Living his best life. Doing what Eli does at midnight. This child that I love is living his best life at midnight. And I wish he was asleep. But I do so love him. Why is he awake at midnight? I have no clue. He took a nap today, so that might have something to do with it. It probably definitely has something to do with it. He is just highly energetic. A highly energetic, happy four-year-old who is just living his best life at midnight. And I would rather be in bed, but instead I am at watching Netflix, trying my hardest not to pull my hair out, and loving my four-year-old autistic son. So for all of you who are out there sleeping or were sleeping when I recorded this, dream one for me. Bye. Good morning, my lovelies. I've just gotten up, as you can tell by the bed hair. Oh my goodness. It is going on 10.30 and Eli is still fast asleep. He had a very, very, very late night last night. And, um, yeah. Like, I look rough. I feel rough. But I will make it through. Now, last night at about well, I say last night. This morning at about 2 o'clock in the morning, he surprised me with a fever. So, I gave him fever medicine and monitored him all night. So, it was a very long night for me. But I did get some rest. So, obviously. <gasps> Not enough. But, oh well. And... I just checked him about five minutes ago and he is fever free. I don't know what caused the fever. So I'm going to monitor him very closely. As you know, he's prone to upper respiratory infections. <sighs> yeah. And it's been very cold here. We've got snow for the past couple days. The weather is so unpredictable here. Not a lot of snow, but some snow. And it has been just wildly unpredictable. So I'm about to try to wake him up again. And I'm going to watch some Netflix and start breakfast. We are getting a very late start today. And this is just not how I want to start today. But, you know, when you're working with a child who has autism, you just try to go with it sometimes you know they can't always help it so you just kind of go with the changes in schedule and the late nights and the insomnia and stuff like that so here's hoping for a better day see you later there he is he's awake he's been awake for a little while he woke up around noon and he seems a little stuffy and a little like he has a head cold, but honestly, no fever. Nah, he's normal temperature. And he's full of energy. Um, ignore my messy house. It is messy right now. Well, what I call messy. He got himself a Lunchable. And yes, he's able to pick out what he likes to eat. He got a Lunchable. And he almost ate the candy, but he decided he didn't want it. He left a few just little crumbs around. He won't eat the crackers, so we just don't worry about that. I give them to him, but he just doesn't like them. I don't know why. I guess it's the texture, or maybe he just doesn't like the taste. But you can see he's full of energy. He's not laying around or acting like he's suffering. I wish he would quit playing with our air purifier. But, you know, whatever. He's having fun. Lots of energy. We're about to go to the bathroom here in a few minutes again and see if he needs to pee. I took him earlier, but he didn't go. 
He loves doing that on the couch. It's one of his stems. But he's actually in a really bright mood. And, you know, like I said, he seems like he has a head cold. So I might put him on some Sudafed PE just to help with the head cold. He's always had sinusitis. So, you know, this is nothing really alarming or, you know, anything worth taking to the ER or really even to his pediatrician right now because it's literally just a head cold. A little sneeze, a little cough, a little bit of um, stuffiness. But the fever broke last night. I don't know if it'll return tonight. You know how it is when it gets nighttime. You always feel your worst because you get tired. And, you know, if you're the least bit, like the littlest bit sick, the least sick, you're going to feel it. If it's, uh, see, <laughs> oh no. You see, those are some of the symptoms. Nothing really alarming. He's not having trouble breathing or anything like that. He may have a fever again tonight. I'll just give him, I have um, Advil and Motrin for children that I rotate. And just keep a close eye on him. And if I have to, I'll bust out the humidifier. We have a Vicks Vapor humidifier, which is awesome. Love it. And I'm just going to keep running the um, air purifier. It's not on right now, but I'm about to turn it on. I have it unplugged, but I'm going to turn it on. And he seems a little stuffy. You can tell right now, even the way he's kind of holding his face, like maybe his nose is tickling a little bit. I think he caught a chill the other day, and I think it's a little bit of a head cold. But like I said, nothing too alarming, nothing, anything to be worried about or alarmed about. Hey, buddy, how are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Hey, sweetie. A little swelling in the sinuses. Are you feeling okay, bud? That's okay. We're just going to rest today, all right? Okay. Like I said, I'm not, like, alarmed or anything. It's probably just a head cold. So, I will see you in a little bit. Bye. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the star of this show. Looking so sexy with no shirt on. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please don't take offense to that. It's a joke. He's four. Okay. So, anyway... The, the point of this video is not to show his biceps or his six-pack, which he has neither of. <laughs> what do you want more of? He's signing more. I think he wants more of his drink. By the way, if you've never had this, like Tommy Tippy, not sponsored, it's awesome. Although he has bitten some into it, it has not broken. I'm telling you, these cups have ha have to hold up. To some major like jaw biting here he is he's got a jaw that can go for days anyway that's that's not even the point okay <laughs> let me get back on the point he is eating he's having lunch this is his favorite meal that he likes to have at home as you can see he is like not showing any enthusiasm for it we started out with a spoon and a plate and he quickly dumped that idea yeah and decided to turn this into a finger food. And he hasn't been feeling well, so I just, like, let him. As long as he's getting that food into that mouth, I am not going to stress him today. So, he's doing good. Still no fever, but it's also still daylight. So, you know how that goes. But he's actually been in a really bright mood. I gave him some Sudafed PE for nasal... Um, congestion and cough and he did actually drain some out of his nose so I'm feeling pretty good um, he's been high energy running playing jumping he's using the bathroom there we go that's the kind of energy I like to see there we go get that food into that mouth that's what I want to see thank you yes anyway it's not a like I don't know it's not a fancy meal and it's like just something we do, especially like when he's not feeling good. And I think he would benefit from his favorite meal. It's just literally a banquet meal. It's a frozen meal. I swear. That's all it is. It's a bank. It's a banquet. What is it? Rigatoni and meatballs and marinara sauce. I think it's what it's called. And he absolutely loves it. I don't do it all the time because I don't like feeding him banquet meals. But... When he's not feeling well, I keep a couple in there in the freezer for, like, days like this when 
you know, I think he might be feeling under the weather and might fight me a little bit more on eating when he actually really needs to eat, which is so ironic when he needs to eat is when he fights me the most. I keep those as my rainy day backups. So no matter what, I know he has a meal. So he was kind of, yeah, he was kind of not wanting to eat for breakfast. So, and I offered him everything. So I was like, okay, time to pull out the rainy day meal. And it went as always. Of course, this is only lunch and he still has dinner. Yeah, which is not going to be a banquet meal. But I just wanted to let everybody know he is doing okay. Um, he may have a fever tonight. He may not. We'll see. I have plenty of fever medicine, plenty of fluids, plenty of everything, really. Anything he really wants. Um, soups. He's not a big soup eater, but he does like his noodle soup. So I have soup, chicken flavored, um, fruits, vegetables, juices. Mmm, he knows what juice is. Yes. We have apple juice and grape juice, jello. So we're pretty much set. But honestly, he's been really high energy, haven't you, buddy? Tell everybody, say bye. Say, I love you. Say bye.